Let's make this project left-handed. Need more detail on completing a virus blanket? Welcome to my nine-part series on stitch by stitch, round by round of completing a virus blanket. Let's make it. Ciao friends, Beth with Thimblehooks, back with part three of my nine part series on stitch by stitch, round by round on our virus blanket and we're going to do round five. And what we're doing with round five is putting, we're going right in here, we're going to start making this fan right in here all the way around. So we finished round four already where we put in the base work. for our corners all the way around. So now we're going to start round five. So what we do is we chain three. This chain three counts as a double crochet. So in this chain five space right here, we're going to put nine more double crochets for a total of ten because that first chain three counts as a stitch. So I did that once, but it counts as two. So there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Here we have the first half of this corner done with this fan. So when you get done with your tenth, actually technically the ninth because we started with a chain three and nine more double crochets, you just jump straight over into this chain three space with a single crochet. Just like we did in the previous one, in between these single crochets is a chain three. And a single crochet in the next chain three space, chain three, and a single crochet in that space. And that was working down the side. Now we're going to fill in this corner. Every time and during when you're on row five, every time you hit a five chain space, it gets ten double crochets. So we'll just go ten. Ten double crochets in our chain five space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And I finish the other half of our corner. We're going to do that exactly, exact same thing again. 10 double crochets in here. So just jump right over and do 10 double crochets in that chain 5 space. It's 2, 3, 4, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. So that's what we do in every corner. So technically this corner has twenty double crochets in a row. Ten in the first five chain loop, ten in the second five chain loop. Now we're going to work down the side again. Go straight from this double crochet into our three chain space with a single crochet. Chain three and a single crochet in the next chain three space and chain three again and a single crochet. So in the first row, or the previous row, we did three sets of three chains. This row is two sets of three chain space. 
And now we're back to a corner again because we're still working. Where we're working is still so small that we have to hit our corner already. So again, go right into this corner. It's a chain five space, so that means it gets 10 double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, So that's a half a corner because there's two five chain spaces next to each other. So there's half of our corner. Now we have to do the other side exactly the same way. Ten double crochets. Just jump right in. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, so we finished that corner. Ten double crochets in each five ten five chain space, so it's a total of twenty on this corner. Now when you finish with this last double crochet, just go straight over into this chain three space with a single crochet. Chain three in between your single crochets. The next chain three space gets a single crochet and we'll chain three one more time and single crochet into that last chain three space. There's another side. Now we're to another corner already. Don't get to the corners quite as quickly when you get further out and further out and further out. But right now, this round goes really fast and you see how quickly it's working up. It actually looks like something already. So here we are in another corner. Five chain spaces are going to get ten double crochets. Round five, that happens every time. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So that chain five space is full. So there's the first half of this corner. Here's the other side of the corner. There's the other, our second five chain space. So you jump right in with it getting ten double crochets. One, two, three, four, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So this corner is done now and it has its, oops, it has ten double crochets in each five chain space for a total of 20 all in a row. We're going to work on our last side. We're almost done with round five. Hooray! When you're finished with this double crochet, just go over to this chain three space and do with a single crochet. And as we did before, in between the single crochets is always going to be a chain three. To the second chain three space with a single crochet. Chain three. And a single crochet right there. 
Now you can see, I don't even use stitch markers for this because you can always tell where you where you started because it's so much bigger than where you were where you're ending. So now we're going to do the last half of our fourth corner. So we started here. These two, or these three, are complete. This one's only a half. So we're going to do ten double crochets into our last lonely little five chain space. It gets ten double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now the only thing we need to do to finish this off, because these are all connected, a nice twenty double crochets all in a row. These ones are separated. So in order to just make this corner look like the other ones, we want to we want to finish finish this circle with a slip stitch into our chain three that we started with on this row. So just a slip stitch to complete the circle. And now they all look the same. And you can see we're building out our corners. Corners, corners, edge, 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 edge. So there you go. That completes round five. I told you this was easy. I really promised and I meant it. This is really, really simple. So join me soon for round six, which would be um, part four, I believe, of my nine part series. We'll do round six here shortly, so please subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you know when that's coming. Um, thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business, and we'll see you real soon. Thanks. Bye.